Hello, it's Sharon from Be Divine Vintage. We've been working recently on this lovely journal, um, which is beginning to get very, very full. However, I still need some bits and pieces for in, that's my husband sneezing in the background there, he's in the lounge watching football. I still need some bits and pieces to tuck into some of the pockets. Let's find a pocket. So for example, this. I needed something to tuck into that. And there's a few of these throughout the journal. But because the journal is looking this thick, here to mouth proportions, I wanted to make something that's pretty flat. So what I decided to do was to make some envelopes. I didn't want to just do an ordinary envelope. Well, there's nothing wrong with ordinary envelopes. This is one here from uh, my my porch prints. And I think this is either from Fairy Woods or Shabby Woods. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. But I thought I wanted to just take it a bit further. I was going to stencil onto there, which is fine. But I just, I don't know, I just wanted a little bit more. So this is what I did. I have seen shaker envelopes in the past and I thought I'll have a go at making my own. So I am really, really pleased with how they turned out. This one's got a little butterfly applique on and some of the lace that matches the journal. This one is from um, Liana Scrap Fairy Forest Papers. Uh, this one I've put uh, sequins in all three, there's three sections to this envelope. So all three sections have got sequins in. And I've put a stamp, an old stamp onto this, it's from Australia. And, uh, well, it's probably not an old stamp, but it's old to me because I've had it 12 months or so. Um, I don't think it's vintage. I put a little applique there that I took off a doily. I've got a little girl there hugging a, a bunny. This one is from Leona Scraps and this is from the Fairy Forest. This one uh, was a dark green woodland paper. It's just, it is a forest. So I used some printer's um, foil on this. So I use the printer's foil on the envelope to give me the gold effect too. And then I put the sequins in. I also put a little bit of bling across the back there. I've only done four so far. I'm, uh, but I'm enjoying the day because my son and his girlfriend are cooking Sunday dinner. So I, I don't need to do that. So I can just play for the day so this one is like the money wallet style envelope this is uh, from graphic fair uh, from my porch prints and it's like the money envelope style and as you can see they've all been printed onto double paper so these are some that i need to do yet but as you can see i printed both sides so that i have a nice lining as well as a nice exterior. This is some paper from Daphne's Diary. So I've made different sizes, different shapes. This is another from my porch prints. This is one that just falls up with the fancy edge there. So when I finish this video, I will be doing these because this is from my Daphne's Diary. I thought it's good to... There's my printer going to start printing right in the middle of my recording. No, it's not because there's no paper in. Money envelope and another Daphne's diary. So basically what I did, I printed two sides. I cut out my envelope. So some were the ready-made ones on my porch prints. For example, this. And... Some I made myself using my board that I can cut envelopes out on. This from Crafter's Companion. 
So there's an assortment of envelopes. You could even use ordinary envelopes, uh, ones that are ready made. You could decoupage them with napkins. You don't have to print them. Then, so here's one. Then I got my tool. You can see that. And I put my tool over the top. Now, I stitched all of these. So I used my sewing machine and I stitched each segment, each triangular segment. Left one open. So I stitched them. Then left one open. Put my sequins in. Trim the edges and then stitch the last uh, sorry, stitch the last one and then trim the edges. So you can see here's one that I have stitched. So this is stitched. This little bit's left open. So this is a paper that I'd use to mop up bits of bits of paint and things that were on my board. And I have put a stamp on, put this little Tim Holtz figure and some butterfly wings. So I literally um, go into my box of sequins, put my sequins in. I think uh, I put some of these little gold ones in to get what I'm happy with. Got some tiny sequins. I did try it with buttons as well and it looked lovely however I can't um, it just made it too bulky for me and I'm trying to keep all this as flat as I possibly can so this now what I need to do is stitch around there trim the excess tool off fold it glue it I use a three-in-one beacon glue and there will be another shaker envelope to add to my collection now to keep my I suppose you could glue it but it would take a while in that you would have to really make sure your glue dried because otherwise your sequins would just stick to your glue so to keep my envelope as flat as I could as I can I've printed on some very fine airmail paper again using Cherish horse graphics, Liana scraps, and my porch prints. I'll put those in. So that will be a nice addition to my journal. I will probably close it with a paper clip, but a nice, I'm going to spread those out, a nice flat addition to my journal. These are some of the papers that I've printed off ready to cut up and go as. Um, inserts to journal on these are this is my porch prints that's from the um fairy woods this is from liana's scrap fairy forest and these are from cherished horse graphics so i'll cut them down and insert them in the envelopes like this. Now some of these envelopes will be included in my ephemera pack which I will be including with this journal that I will give away when I get 100 subscribers. So there'll be this journal and ephemera pack with some of my homemade ephemera, handmade ephemera in there or there'll be a selection of vintage and antique laces that you can have if you don't want this journal okay i hope you enjoyed my little video thank you for listening i'm sharon this is biddy buying vintage you can find me on etsy instagram facebook all under b divine vintage and let's just spell that out for you b e a D I V I N E Vintage. Lovely to see you, and I'll see you tomorrow because tomorrow I am going to be looking at Franken tags. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>